about 100 PSI. Right under it. It's too high. Need to replace this old crusty thing. And the uh, put the ball valve, gate valve after it should have one right there and what should be right here is the relief valve so uh, yeah probably just redo it all since there's no shut off on the main I got to turn this off tool sections these are notoriously known these water meters for being so hard to close dude I'm really having a hard time. I got it to go a little bit, but let's finish it off. Dang. I'm literally putting all my force into that. one right here everything soldered up nicely but this joint water kept coming out I had to really get that hot I had to turn this to the highest setting and hit it with the flux a couple times there you go now, that's how you do it these uh these are relief valves without the little dipstick in them, obviously. They blow off at 150. It's just a uh, protection mechanism that's, uh, I think it's a California thing, pretty sure, but, but yeah, that's how you do it. I put the hose bib before this because they have hose bibs in the back, I can test. So now we'll set this. It's not very hard. So let's see, I always forget. So to raise the pressure, you go clockwise, which pushes, which goes down, right? You would think that the opposite, you raise it and it goes up and lets more water through. That's not how these work. So we'll set it at a 70 since it's two stories put it right at 70 and yeah that's it all right so these are preset at 45 
So let's increase that pressure. Okay. So loosen that. And then clockwise. Maybe another five turns and then we'll be good. All right, set it just under 70. We're not done yet. Look familiar? You're gonna need a really special tool for this one. Very special tool. This tool is very expensive. So this is 95 PSI, we need to now lower it to about like 68. But you're gonna need this really expensive tool called a key. Okay, let's see where we're at now. All right, that was close. Okay, do the same for this, and we're out of here, folks.